welcome to another YouTube video. So uh, in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to effectively use, no, well, not effectively. I'm just going to like introduce you guys to the MuseScore palette since a lot of you guys are using MuseScore. So I'm just going to like introduce you guys to the palette of MuseScore, like this part. So anyways, uh, let's start with the clefts. The clefts, as you see here, are apparently for each different kinds of instrument like this is for violin flute oboe like as you see over here and then this is like concert a concert key concert yeah concert key and this is for and like these kind of like the ear that that like they looks like ears like these are like they are for um the viola that's all i know and these i'm not really sure but i know like this one is for drums all the timpani is a pitched drum, so it's still counted as a bass. And a bass clef is where it's like for deeper notes, like the bassoon, like right over here, and the contrabass and the viol on cellos, which in short is cellos. So now it's key signatures. Key signatures are really simple. They're just key signatures. Well, apparently there's different kinds like F major, C major, G major, E major, and a lot of other ones. So now the time signatures, hence the name, are uh, tell like what time it is in, like two four three four 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 fourth. Like you, like you can like just drag them in here and it will change it. So like when you make a new piece of score, they will first tell you that basically you first type in like tutorial. And then you go to continue and then you choose like classical orchestra and then you go here like you can choose enter time signature and pick and the pickup measure i recommend you choose all of it because you, you can delete it later so um yeah because you don't have to like care about the time signature and now here now um this is the brackets. The brackets are like, as you see, these stuff, these just make the score look better. It like polishes it if you like want to give out like sheet music. Oh, wait, there's two now. Okay. Um, don't save. And accidentals are just accidentals for the note, for the like the notes when you're using it. And articulations are ones where you can, um, like choose your own kind of like thing to like put on the notes and the playback will sound different that's what i know apparently the ornaments are where you can like for example you have a note like um c for example and then you like just and i believe that you can either like drag this on or you can or i believe that you can just click this twice and then you'll get it on there so um yeah and then for breaths and pauses they are just like when you're playing a violin like you'll take a break like not a actual break where you drink water you like relax and stretch not like that it's like where you play and then um for example you're singing a song and then basically you want to like the singer to like know that he's finishing a sentence or like one part of the song then you can like put one of these or these or these or these or these to symbolize it and that's how like it works in like all the instruments and here are the grace notes grace notes are just decoration notes which they can help you um like make the make the make your music sound more jazz like these grace heads are uh yeah and don't try to like memorize it because it's this is called like a csicura or something like that and it's very annoying to yeah see like it says and then this is a pagiatura grace quarter this is better and then like there's just a lot of other weird ones so um uh, yeah no heads they are just different kinds of no heads that you can like choose for each kind of uh note that you want to place if you want it to be creative then you can like choose different kinds lines are just w where you can like write the uh like drag these on to the notes and basically they will have different playback sounds 
So that is it for like part one. If you want to make part two, just leave a like on this video. And if this video gets enough likes, then I'll make a part two, which will be talking about from the bar lines all the way to the beam properties, which will be the end of the palette. Or if you want me to, I might, I might also like add the master palette, which I'll talk about it. Like there's a symbols at the last, which apparently I don't even understand. And it gives a whole lot more to talk to, which I find apparently tiring. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep it to the palettes for now. So thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like on this video and please subscribe. And most importantly, turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified when I upload new videos. And thanks for watching and have a great day.